up to today i wanted to show you this amazing shipment that i got from princess bow supply in america now i get i've uh, been sponsored for the last two years by christine which is the lady that owns the business um, from princess bows uh, she's got an amazing etsy store um, and like i said she sends me 200 pounds well 200 dollars which is roughly about 155 pound um uk um pounds and she sends she sent me this last year and she sent me this again this year as like a sponsorship for my channel and she lets me pick whichever ribbon that i want to and i get some amazing like double-sided ribbon and stuff that we can't get in the uk so i always absolutely love getting this parcel and it's like like the highlight of my year for the last two years this year i actually got some leatherette as well because obviously i do a few bits and pieces so i got some of these um i picked this one and i think christine picked the other ones for me or maybe not i had a little bit of a moment and uh, couldn't handle the website for a second so she kindly went through and basically reselected all my choices herself um, and did it all herself so I, I am very grateful that she sorted that out for me but look how pretty this is with the like american girl mermaids for independent day and then these little ice cream cones and this really pretty like pastel floral print and then this super cute like little rain I thought this was like perfect for the UK because obviously it's quite quite fitting and then another little one which this is like a little mouse slash cat I'm not entirely sure I think it's a mouse but look how cute they are and then I've got a lot of three inch ribbon and then I've got some trims this time and some other bits and pieces so I'm going to show you let's move this a little bit to the side so we can actually see what's all in the box so I'll show you my three inch ribbon first and like I said, my favourite thing about most of this three inch ribbon is it's double sided, which I always love because it means you've got more versatility and you can use less ribbon and get the same results. And it tends to be thicker. So I've got these dotted ones, glitter dotted ones, as you can see. And like I said, it's both sided. So that's a really nice purple. And I've got the yellow version and yellow version black version and blue versions of that that are all the same that, that sort of glitter style with the small and big and thick mix of dots and then i got this single sided pink bigger glitter dots that's like an ombre glitter kind of effect but look how pretty they are so if you are one of my us members i'll put the link in the description below if you want to go and make an order and bearing in mind that I'm in the UK, whenever Christine does send a parcel to me, it arrives to me in less than seven days. So I imagine her US turnaround's even better than that. Okay, I've got some more. And I've got double sided again, as you can see. So those ones are double sided. I've got the Galaxy print because I love that one. And I love Christmas ones. Look at this one. This is absolutely amazing. Double sided. So you've got the Tartan this side and then look at this look at that sparkle look at that with the different gingerbread men how pretty is that and again it's not anything that i can get in the uk so i absolutely love it because i like having things that are just a little bit different although i am terrible because i should use more of it in my tutorials but i am a bit of a hoarder of ribbon if i ever actually showed you just my box of 1.5 inch pattern ribbon you'd be you'd be horrified or you wouldn't you'd be like why don't you use it more so I've got this Galaxy one, again, double-sided, three-inch ribbon, absolutely amazing. I did the flute bow in this in the 1.5 inch, and I've got some more 1.5 inch that I've ordered as well, because, like I said, it's so pretty and so amazing. Like I said, it makes, like I said, such a difference to certain bows and certain styles. And it means, like I said, that you don't have to overlay it with your plain colour. And you'll see, like I said, just it's just a little bit thicker in texture. And look at this one look how pretty this one is with the fairy girls and with the dragons and then it's got this like ombre pinky blue -y effect the other side but look at that pattern so i love that one anytime i see any of these girls girl print ones i always love picking those up because like i said i just think they're so pretty and then i got it like another christmasy winter one and again, this is like gingerbread men and like cookies and Christmassy stuff. 
And then on this side, you've got like snowflakes. So again, it's a really, really nice, like Christmassy winter ribbon. So I've got that one. And I like how these are rolled as well, because this is exactly how I have them in my boxes. I've never showed you because the outside of this area of my desk is a complete state at any one given time. It stays organised for about two days and then I give in. I got this super cute fox tent one because I love foxes, especially in autumn time. Just so cute. Again, I'm already stocking up on Halloween ribbons for next year because I like ones that are a bit more unique. And I've got this in one inch and 1.5 inch from last year as well. But I had, I had the orangey stripe version as well from last year, you see? I was working on a bow. Sometimes my attempts don't work as well as uh, I hope them, hope them to. But this is the purple three inch version. And it says, come fly with me. With the mask and the pumpkin and the little witch sitting on the purple pumpkin. So cute. And like I said, I got some really cute trims because I've wanted to start to do some little different bits with um, my bows. So I'll show you them. So I got this one. It's like hessian. Like a hessian pom-pom type one. Can you see? So I got this one because I thought it might look a bit nice on the edges of like bows and things like that or just on its own like as a either embellishment cross front so I'm looking at that one and then I got this black and white one this is like a lacy like look so again it looks like this and I thought it'd be really nice at like the side of a like white or black and white ribbon And then I've got some of these ones, which are like the braided ones. I did the braided metallic rose tutorial, and I was actually looking for more of these, like plain ones, because you can make a couple of different styles of the braided rose with them. So I wanted to play around with them. And again, they'd look really cute, like as edgings or a cross front of bows as like embellishments and things like that. So I've got them in a few different colours. I've got hot pink, pale pink, I think it's chocolate cream. Yeah, so I've got light pink, bright pink or purple, Charisse I think, hot pink, chocolate, cream and the pale blue in those ones. So like I said, they were really cute. And then I got some elastic and a few other different trims. So I've got this elastic and then i got this really pretty elastic edged ones so I thought that'd be cute as a design or like something like that and like I said because it's elasticated you can do a few more different options with that one I think this is yeah this is another mildly elasticated one not as elastic as the other one but a little bit look but look at the trim on that like the lacy pattern across that one and like I said again I thought it could be used at the edge of a bow or like as a metal embellishment across like some 1.5 inch ribbon, something like that. Could play around and see what different looks I could do. Because next year my challenge for 2022 is to stop doing some of the more basic styles and maybe branch out and do some more interesting bits and pieces. So, and then we don't seem to have a lot of satin ribbon in the UK at the moment. So I saw that she had these two colours. So I got the black and the cream in the satin. Like, so pretty. So I've got those two. And then let me show you my 1.5 inch ribbon. And I've got a couple of two inch ribbons as well. And then I've got some. I always keep all of these bags as well. I love them for like little bits of embellishments that I collect because obviously you all know by now that I am a hoarder. So this is my 1.5 and some of my, oh there's one inch ribbon in here. 1.5. A lot of this again is double sided. I 
because like I said the double sided ribbon is just not common at all in the UK so any chance I get to pick it up I will pick it up every single time so I just got some two inch red and green because I thought that would be perfect for Christmas and I've got a couple of Christmas tutorials that I wanted for that one so I just got those two and then there was this one which is a really pretty like ombre rainbow one but it's like a little bit different the gradient so I've got that one just roll that back up a little bit and then I was so happy because I've got my three nieces that I see on a regular basis I've got Ella, Elizabeth and Evie and Ella and Evie are both brunettes and Lizzie is um, a blonde so I only managed to get the blonde version last time so I managed to get both this time birthday girl ribbon so I'm going to make them all special bows and then I'm going to customise them and again it's got like this really pretty like ombre almost peak, pinchy peak pe pinch peak colour the other side so now I can make all three of them their own birthday girl bows instead of just Lizzie like I could last year and this is the blonde version but again it's so cute so pretty and I love the fact that it's double sided so I can use less of it no matter which style I create I can just use a little bit less than standard and then I've used this one before but again I ran out of this one so I restocked it because it's a really pretty summer like neon fruit print so pretty and again it's double sided and I love this side because it's like got the like gold dots it's not glitter but it's like close to glitter without well it's softer because like i said with glitter the only problem that you have is it's sometimes a bit more harder to manage because it can toughen up ribbon a little bit just ping the elastic off there somewhere and then i got this school version and again this is another double-sided one and it's just a cute school one and i like the other side because obviously you've got the that way that way and then it looks just as cute the other side so you could use it either side and then i've got this double-sided black and white chevron it's just black that side and the black and white chevrons that side i always like having a little bit of ribbon like that it's just a little bit and then obviously you saw earlier I got the 3 inch version, I got the 1.5 inch version because I completely ran out of that one from the flute bow. And then I got this little mini smart girls rule 1 inch ribbon. Look how cute it is. Look at that. I thought it would be adorable for like a little mini, mini more unique looking boutique bow. I might do like a bowed boutique and do the smaller sizing. Because I am terrible at sizing down my bows at the moment. So I do apologise if you want more of the smaller sizing. I will work on it. And then these are the one inch ribbons that I chose specifically. And again it's more double sided. And some Christmassy. But I got this super pretty glitter one. In the one inch ribbon. Look at that. Look at the glitter on that. How pretty makes me want to get all my Christmas stuff out now and actually make everything but I can't because uh, I have like a million and one things that I want to get organised that I haven't uh, achieved quite yet I got the matching you saw the three inch version so I got this one and I got the mini one inch version as well again double sided that ombre like pink, 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 pinky bluey kind of colour but like I said it's so cute I got that one because I like to make matching ones if I can downsize bows I like to do them in the same colours the same colour combination so you can see the difference in the sizing really well and then I got this pretty pumpkin like a really cute like Halloween fall one I thought that was really pretty and like a bit different and again it's double sided look at this side so you could use it for like spring as well so you could have like a fall, a fall spring bow so you've got fall that side and like spring that side which again I thought was a really cute like little concept on that one 
Now when it comes to Christmas I am a big tartan fan so I found this little cute one as well because it had the Christmas tree trees in tartan as well as the deer I thought it was just a little bit different and like really cute and, and interesting. And then I got the yellow version of the fairy girls with the dragon. So that's that one side. And then the other side you've got like the yellowy like cream ombre. And then I've got these two. I love the texture of this one. The textures are just a little bit different. It's double sided. And it's like a really pretty colour. It wasn't one that I was originally going to choose, but I ordered it last year and I used it in one of my bows. I'll put the link in the description for the book one that I made. can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But it looks so pretty with the double-sided. And again, it's one of those ones where you can use less ribbon because, like I say, it's really nice, like, sturdy one. And then I got this one, which, again, I love teal and gold. So I got this one in the 1.5 inch ribbon. And then I've got this Christmas one that matched that other one that you saw. So where was that one? Matches this one. So that one's not double sided though, that one had. So again, I thought I'd do some matching big and small bows where I can. Because I think I've got a couple of these in the 1.5 inch ribbons from last year. And then she sent me this little random mix of designer, uh, so US, US designer ribbon. I think it's in. I think it might be the 16. Is it one? It is all the one. One inch um, US designer ribbon. So I've got Mummy. Mummy thinks I'm the cat's meow. Got this like one here. Messy buns and getting stuff done. So that's really cute. Polka dots. Got clocks on this one. This cute pink one. I've got wolves. I don't know whether or not they're again i've got plans for, for this kind of thing because i've got uh, some stuff that i'm working on for one of my favorite things in the world related to one of my favorite books and authors so i've got this cute neon like stripy design that's so cute wake me at midnight so this is like um new year's day designer one so look at that one so de de detailed like this gold and teal like blue so pretty like neon splashes wherever you go unicorns that say um, wherever you go leave tacos which is really really cute and another version of the messy buns getting stuff done so I've got the blue and the pink in that version which again is really really cute and on top of that she always adds freebies in for me I never ask for anything like I said I don't ask to be sponsored because like I said I don't like asking for things from small businesses because like I said I know that everyone has overheads and you've all got like things to do which is why I always like any supplier that's a reputable supplier with a website that's doing everything legitimately for their business um if you want to advertise on my page or anything like that I have my Facebook group and you can put any like launches anything like that on you on your um my page to like get more business because i am very much we should use you as much as possible otherwise we're going to lose some of you especially with the financial uncertainty at the moment so whenever she does actually send me an order last year she sent me a little notebook i've still got it somewhere where i put all my sizings and all my details and it's normally propped in this corner over here and i have like my measurements here so when i'm speaking to you i make sure i get them right this year she sent me all these planner oh look at all these cute little planner stickers and they're all different all three packs are completely different although i'll use them for about a day and then give up because my lack of organization um <laughs> will will get the best of me but i will try attempt to use them all but like i said she always sends me such nice things um but like i said i will put the link in the description uh, below if you want to place an order um, and like I said, I am so appreciative and so grateful that, like I said, she sponsored me these last two years with the two hundred dollars slash two hundred like fifty five pound uh, UK money. Um, it's so kind of her. It's so generous of her. Like I said, I never expect anything of anyone. So I am so grateful to receive all of this. You will see it featured in my videos. And like I said, um, she is one of my recommended um, suppliers because obviously it's one of the few. 
um because i love being able to um recommend supplies to you but when obviously from the uk i can recommend any one of that i purchase from from the U us i have to go by the ladies in my group's recommendations and obviously i trust all of them but like i said i do like to test things myself directly um just so i know personally so like so the fact that i get sent these so i can try them all and like so the feature in my videos and everything like that it's always so nice that i can do that for you and like give you genuine recommendations from people that i've actually tried and know the quality of the ribbon and like know the customer experience and like i said christine is so lovely and like i said i really do appreciate everything that she does for me um and like i said the fact that she sends me this and has done for the last two years so thank you very much and like i said it's princess bow supplies i'll put the link in the description below and hopefully you enjoyed seeing our new pretty ribbon that will be featured shortly bye hi everyone i thought today i would do something a little bit different and show you my camera setup because obviously for filming my videos i have to have quite a lot of lighting to show you guys exactly what i'm doing and show it quite well and as you can see i have this like wood effect um white backdrop i'm actually in the process of replacing mine because i just had to rip mine up because i got um can you see here with my um Pepsi Max slash energy drink addiction. I was in the process of trying to make glitter baubles. Didn't always turn out as well. You, you don't see the failures very often, but basically uh, I was doing that and I've got red from this one. Again, chocolate everywhere. Uh, from this one, I did this with hairspray, but the hairspray leaked all out of the top and I got like pink dye all over my this. So I've got, I'm going to replace that. But just so you know, I also have from Wilco's. I have tons and tons of wallpaper samples. This is how I keep them rolled like this. Okay, and I have all different colours and styles that will match every type of bow that I ever make. And I just keep them rolled. And I keep them in one of my many, many piles. <laughs> I do organise my craft stuff on a regular basis. It just all goes completely to pot. So just bear with me a moment and I'll take you a bit further up. Just turn these on. So, this is all also all my storage and some of my bows that I keep on my. These are former CD racks. Obviously, I don't have CDs anymore, so it all gets some bows and stuff there. And that's my tray of mess slash clips. Uh, so, this is my first ring light. This is my main ring light where my camera phone, well, my smartphone sits in here. And then, because this one, I had to replace this one, and this one's not as strong as my previous one, I now have these two extra mini ones and these are all on clamps which are really really like tight and firm and don't move around as i'm filming and these all of these arms are completely adjustable you see here i need to just you see this is how unorganized i actually am in real life um but yeah so this is my camera setup which is what lights up all of this so bear with me a moment we're just going to pause this and put Okay, so this is just a roll of wallpaper from Wilco's. It costs me, I think this particular roll is like £5 a roll, which sounds like a bit, but realistically I replace mine often enough that it's, it's a good value um, and it's wide enough that it's perfect for the distance I need it. So, I'm just going to measure what I need for my wall. I have the back drop as well, the back dip. Okay. I need some to go over the edge of my desk as well. So I'll just cut that, get the rest of that out of the way. And then I just double side this tape with this. And take this all to the wall so it doesn't move around when I'm taking pictures and just cause me any issue. And then I'll show you how I set up some of my pictures so you can see. But I prefer this to a light box because I feel like with the lights above you've got more control. And with light boxes you have to be like quite precise with your photos. And like really learn exactly how to take your photos within your light box. If you are not good at the technical side of things and getting your angles and getting your lighting on that, it can be quite tricky. So this method with just lights above and like a clear, clearly lit backdrop is actually sometimes easier than, like I said, light box photography. 
and cheaper because these cost me these the two little ones cost me 18 pound and this ring one up here um the main one that you saw uh that cost me like 10 pound a couple of years ago um like i said i've just replaced it, it i brought that three years ago i've just replaced it this last month and the replacement cost me 12 pound so it's not a lot um overall for the cost of everything as you can imagine I told you this bit would be boring but if you ever wanted set up ideas for this this is this is perfect for you And I always do exactly the same thing. I literally refreshed all this tape yesterday because it came loose. And then the same day that I refreshed all my tape and we taped it to the wall is the same day that I get like stains all over it and have to replace the whole lot again ready for my next batch of videos. Because I will say this, this is another trick. You know if you are a very busy person, because I work full time. So all my tutorials are normally done on the same two days during the week and then I batch them to go out on days when I'm at work so if I ever put a video out and I don't respond to someone straight away or like you see a post on social media but I don't respond to people straight away it's because it's stuff that I've batch created on my days off ready to go when I'm not about which saves me a lot of time and a lot of work because when I have to think about doing things every single day I get overwhelmed and don't get to things or put things off so like i said batch creation for me is perfect it doesn't work for everyone obviously nothing does but for me it's ideal the only other problem is is when i batch create if i batch, batch create a lot at once i get a little bit lazy and i'm like it's okay i've got three weeks worth of tutorials done i don't need to do anything for three weeks so it sort of swings and roundabouts. Sometimes it helps me, other times it makes me lazy. So you have to work with what you've got though. So let's put that all up against there. Make sure that's in the dip. I'm just going to put some this end as well. to the boring bits now I promise once I get the tape off anyway hopefully you found this informative and I'll show you about how I take my photos in a minute as well because um and I know this because my sister used to do it all the time and so did I um, a lot of people I know especially when they first start taking pictures is we are naturally using our body and we're blocking out all the natural light that our light boxes or like the natural light is actually giving us and darkening our pictures without even realizing what we're doing so i will show you the difference the like positioning positioning of your body can actually make as well because i used to be a terror for it and i have to tell my sister even now i'm like you need it you're blocking all you like there we go so all set up and i've got some bows I got some tutorials that I'm working on so here you go and you'll also notice that I tend to always put my bows at angles like this and I just think it's just gives, just gives you like a, a nice angle to the bow so you can see it all clearly 
you see now i put them all like that when i'm taking them individually i tend to have them like like this okay because straight on they just don't have the same flare so like i said i always tend to put them like this so but you can play around and decide what what actually works best for yourselves look how pretty this one is so again it just doesn't look as nice when it's not like that so that's one of the things now i'm standing like here and i will show you a i'll turn two of my lights off so that's without my two extra lights so can you see the difference and that's with them back on so that's without that's with them on that's that's the difference ring lights can actually make to your photos now if i lean like this i basically take some of that natural light away so if i'm leaning too far forward i'm blocking all of that natural light whereas if i step back and angle so the camera's in my hand here and i come back a bit and just angle the camera it's not blocking the natural light and it's the same whether or not you're taking the pictures like i said next to a window or whether or not you're taking them with light boxes like like this but it is really really useful to know where your angles are and where to place things and things like that i'm working on these as well these aren't perfect either but we will see my nieces will enjoy them so yeah I've been working on lots of little bits and pieces. I've got to get my Christmas stuff done, but uh, I keep getting distracted by pretty ribbon, as you can see. Uh, but I've got these two tutorials shortly. So this one and these, which is the two-tone version in three-inch ribbon. And I might be showing you how to make these clips up. <laughs> Haven't quite decided on that one yet. But like I said, little setup from how to do your cameras and your angles and how my light box and everything is set up if any of you actually find it useful let me know in the comments below and i might do some more of these kind of videos for you in the future okay bye